Max. Hey everyone, welcome to uh, GearFest 2023. We are working class music and I'm one of your hosts, Jason. And I'm your other host, Tia. And we are here with our friend Rob to tell us about the two UA pedals that we have yet to try that just dropped. They are the Galaxy and the Max. So let's start with the Max, because I know Emily from Get Offset, she was in love with that. So let's All start right. with that one. Cool, yeah. So Max is three different compressors times two. So like if you just look at the first compressor, you have a choice of a, a Dynacom, you know, your traditional one knob guitar compressor that everybody loves. You have an LA-2A, which is your optical, soft, slow leveling type compressor, you know, tube base. And then you have an 1176, which is the historical studio standard, mm -hmm. right? I mean, so many records that we love were recorded with an 1176. So you can choose between the three compressors. At the front, the big red knob, is a, a 610 preamp. So that's actually the preamp from the UA 610. So the original 610 console that Bill Putnam invented back in the 50s. And then you know, it's on our like Solo 610, 6176, a number of different you know analog products like you know, over in the racks here. So that gives you that tube coloration. So it's like plugging into the DI, you add the tube coloration with the red knob, then into the compressor. Then there's a second compressor. You have you know, two buttons, so you have two compressors. And each one can be any of those three compressors, and they both have the option for the red knob, you know, the, the Solo 610. And then you can run them either serially, one into the other, or you can run them in parallel, where you're hitting both at the same time and mixing them back together, or you can set them to be independent. So I could have, you know, one or both compressors at the same time. So you say, hey, I've got this is my rhythm sound, this is my lead sound. You could get a little lead boost or a little different uh, compression with that. So you change those modes, like the different, the serial parallel mm -hmm. and, and which one you want to use at the same time with the phone app. There's a Bluetooth. It's like creating uh, a different flavor, exactly. like just depending on how you, you set decide it up the to... way you want to, you want to use it. So that's very cool. Exactly. Oh, cool. So let's jump over to the galaxy and okay. uh, yeah, Rob, tell us about that. Okay. So this is based on a 74. Roland Space Echo. If you remember those, you know, tape devices, which are neat. And they're interesting because they have three heads on them. Mm -hmm. So what's cool is you could have the three different heads and get different rhythmic patterns. So, you know, you have different combinations. So when you flip through the switch, you can get just the first head, or you can get the second head or the third head, which have different rhythmic values, or you can get any two in combination or all three. So you can say, I want one and two, one and three, or all three, and you get all the, you start to create these rhythmic patterns. So what's cool about it is, I mean, a space echo is it's, it's, it's a tape recorder and it's just a loose reel of tape. It's just like a, a loop that sits inside there. And then just the capstan motor just pulls that across these heads. It, it takes some doing to get them all calibrated and set up and, and working properly. But they're just beautiful because it, it just has this, this sound about it. Yeah, and with quality, the rhythmic stuff, you know. yeah. And then the other thing that's interesting with that, you can either do tap tempo with the right switch or if you press and hold, it'll actually kind of feedback out of control. So it gets, you know, starts to take off on you. And then with the app, you can either have it do that and pitch up or pitch down. So it's kind of interesting. So the fun thing with Galaxy is to play, let stuff happen and either do that or just grab the feedback knobs or the pitch knobs and just, cause it'll sound like the tape speeding up and down and you can get crazy stuff and it'll like pitch down to just the lowest notes or, or kind of go crazy. And you can capture all kinds of, of cool stuff with that. Okay, That's sweet. That's really cool. You guys had fun. <laughs> yeah. We've got nine petals now in the family. So oh, wow. We're... It's growing and everything yeah. has just been like really good. So I'm excited to like, yeah. ex like try these out. Yeah. We're got, and we've got more coming. We're, yeah. we're, we we want to keep you guys busy. So. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. All I right. guess uh, let's get on to the first impressions. All right. You want me to get out of your way now? Just let you guys if play? If you want to chill, you can chill. I chill whatever's good to you, man. Yeah. I'm going to start with the Galaxy and then. I'll let Rob reach over and add the compressor. I'm happy to.
makes you want to shake the yeah. dial. <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> That's Europe. It's like, like a tape machine that's a motor, right? It slows down and it takes a minute to kind of come back, you know? So.
yeah, those were some of the sounds. So I want to definitely thank Rob for uh, exploring this with us and showing us what these new pedals sound like. Yeah. Uh, you can find them over on Sweetwater, which we are here for GearFest 2023. And if you can, check out our affiliate links. Check out any other links that we have. Patreon, merch, Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, yes, I've been Jason. And I'm Tia. And this has been Rob. Yeah. And uh, thank you. And uh, GearFest 2023. Yeah. Until next time with more UA pedals. Yep. Later. We're recording. Oh, hey, everyone. Welcome to... Oh, Let me hold on. turn Jason, my uh, hold on. phone off. It just occurred to me it's making all kinds of noise over here. So there we go. Very good. Uh, right.